Hi, today I show how to create a custom traffic sign. I will do in this example a pedestrian crossing sign, like a crosswalk sign. So what you need to do is you need to select 3D traffic um, signals. You place it somewhere when you need it, but you can move it later as well. So I just place there. It automatically brings up this. On the left side, it has basically three sections, the left, middle, and right. In the middle here, you see a preview of what you are doing. On the left, you put the structure together, and the right, it brings up the attributes or the details, basically where you can uh, modify it and adjust the details to your need. So. Um, of course, this allows you to do all kinds of things. You can create like an arm, signals, um, light, everything. But in this example, I do the sign. So there is already a signal must created. It is a round object, but you can do um, different shapes and then you can adjust the height, uh, the color, everything. So I just go with the round. Um, I think that's perfectly fine. And then what you do, you click on the add sign, and then it with the if you hold on control, uh, sorry the <laughs> the middle button, you can uh, move uh, the side of view. Uh, if you hold on control and you move the control button, you basically move um, and in another axis. So. Um, you can hold on Alt as well. It uh, you can move in a different view. So you can um, <laughs> play with that. And here as well, you can select if you have the this select tool selected. Um, you can select different parts. As you see here, it is structured and what is located on what. You can see the rule how it is so like the sign is located on the mast so let me just look it from this sign if you select something you can also move it if you um, select one of the one of the planes you can move things around or the axes so like on this or along that so you can just play around with that but as you can see here you have the the sign the empty sign you can adjust the color if you just want to use a color of course you can change the shape there are all kinds of shapes but i go with the rectangular <laughs> and then the texture that is what you need so what i've done i just went to uh, either on the street or google street just try to find the photo and just save it in a jpeg or bmp and then you just click there and it automatically brings up um, vizim's inbuilt signs so as you can see there are vms signs variable message signs but you don't need these, but you can still use those, of course. There are like um, crossing signs, Bombay, pet crossing, but these are mainly American. And there are not many of them, but you can draw yourself one or you can just screenshot somewhere or you make a photo on the street. So I created one. I just basically took a photo and just cropped it in Microsoft Paint and that was it and then I saved it as a as a file and just select and it basically puts on it. If you want to make it smaller or larger, I would highly recommend to use the scaling instead. So if you want to make it bigger, just put 2 or 0 0.5 to achieve the size um, and the scale you want. If you play around with these and these, it will um, distort your image and doesn't feel out well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's easier to just use the scaling. In Visim anyway, in other places as well, I think that just works better. Of course, there are other settings here you can play around so you can create your uh, desired sign and everything. 
and you can add more signs if you want uh, you know you can uh, just uh, create another one a smaller one and and uh, you can just edit that and you can put stuff to it. I'm going to just delete that because I don't need another. Okay, I selected the wrong one. Um, so I just delete that. So that's it. And if you go to 3D view, it is basically that um, very easy to just go to the um, settings here and here you can just uh, rotate it of course the other you can just rotate it and you can move where you want scale it as well and you have all the settings here you can add the attributes and manually so I mean adjust without the window <clears throat> but you can always just double click on it, select what you want to edit, either there or here, and it works. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you have any um, ideas for future videos. And if you like and subscribe, that would help the channel a lot. And also, if you want to support uh, me and the channel, please visit my Patreon. Thank you very much.